it almost takes you on a journey, right? On in the plate, yeah, yes. in your mouth, yes. Yeah. Journey in your mouth. <laughs> really excited to be here at Junshig with Chef Unji, the pastry queen of fruit. Gonna learn her process, walk through her dish, and super excited to learn her art. Where are we today? Uh, we are at Chongsik restaurant. Amazing. In Tribeca, and I am executive pastry chef at Chongsik. Yeah, you are. <laughs> what are we making today? Uh, so we're gonna make the pear tart. Amazing. Today. Cool. In, in Korea, we we love Asian pear. Yeah. I mean, we, our pear is Asian pear. Yes. So I wanted to use this one in it's my, my dessert. My favorite pear for sure. And, oh really? I just yeah. love the water content yeah, the, in it. Very it's very texture, very, yes. crunchy, juicy. Crust. Yeah. So I really love the texture. Uh, so we have a few pears here. What type of pear is this? This one is a Kumi's pear. It's from... Uh, May I try it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really like this pear because it, I mean, mm. it's flo it has floral flavor and the texture is so soft. We can find it in Europe, Europe and in America. Uh, it's, this one is from California, it's mm. a local pear. Uh, so that's why I choose this pair and another one is from Korea. Okay. So I choose the Asian pair. The Asian pair. Yeah. Kind of partial to that, <laughs> yes. I imagine. Do we start with the tart first? Yes. So tart is gonna be here. Okay. Like something like this? Yeah, some uh, small kind of like this one. Okay. There is a Kumis pear. Do you mind if I... Please. Yeah? <laughs> can do it together. So there is a Kumis pear like this and Asian pear bowl and there is compressed small Asian pear. So we have compressed Asian pear. This is a fresh Asian pear. Micro red swirl. Yum. And so we have three types of pear preparation? Four, four, four types, types of, of pear preparation. Four, like, I can say Watch five out. including the <laughs> pear survey. Five types of pear. <laughs> and the survey. And the survey. Yeah, and the survey. Yeah, and the survey. That, look, yeah. It looks beautiful. It's almost <laughs> delicious enough to eat on paper. And sujongwa, like sujongwa. It's a sauce? It's a, like juice. Usually we are drinking uh, sujongwa at the end of the meal to digest and then refresh uh, our palate. Okay, like a digestive and yes, like the digestive. French cuisine. Yes. Yeah. So how do I pronounce? Sujongwa. 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 Amazing. <laughs> We can put the butter at first into and we can put the icing sugar into the butter. Icing well. sugar next. So first step is creaming butter and sugar together. Flour goes in. Is there anything that we need to look out for on this stage? Can you overmix this? For the butter and sugar part is okay, but whenever you put the flour into the mixing mixing bowl, uh, you need to be careful about over whipping okay. because whenever you over whip. Uh, there is a gluten into the flour, so the texture is not correct. Okay, so something like this you want more delicate as opposed to bread where you want to develop yes, the gluten. Yes. So we're adding the egg. And what the egg is going to do is sort of add a little bit of protein structure to the dough. Yes, so tart dough is done. Now we will rest uh, the dough into the refrigerator for 24 hours. And then after the rest, uh, are we rolling out? This is what we have after rolling out and punch it. So it's ready to mold the tart. Yes, chef, you are like a magician. You did that so quick. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what is uh, important when structuring our tart shell? Your hands, <laughs> but not, not too hot. Okay. And fingers, because there are a lot of detail work uh, when you mold the tart. Put on the ring after that. We're gonna fold it inside. You can push into the push hole. and turn. Then, if you see like this, we need to this part. We need to fill it with the dough. So I'm using my finger to push it. <laughs> How many times do you think you've done this? <laughs> like ten thousand. Oh. I think. At like, least. I, yeah. So this allows maybe air to escape yeah, a little yeah. bit and it won't have like a breathe, breathe through the holes. Breathe through the breathe, holes. Breathe, Beautiful. Breathe the That's really nice of us to let these tart shells breathe. <laughs> <laughs> what is a pastry cream? Uh, pastry cream is a uh, basic French cream. So in the bowl we have a yolk. Yes. And in the bowl we have a yolk and then I will add the uh, flour, flour and cornstarch. This pot there is milk and cream, so I will add the vanilla bean. 
so now I'm going to boil it. Then I can add the cream. So we're gonna add cream and milk and vanilla into our egg yolk mixture. Yes. I love pastry cream so much. Me it's too. like a really good vessel to be a conduit for flavor. Mm -hmm. Then I will put it back to the pot. The pastry cream you need to make the day before and then set one night. After that I can add the gelatin. And this gelatin, what form is this? This one is from, I made with the fish gelatin powder. When we add to the pastry cream, does that give the pastry cream any sort of fishy aroma? No, the fish, that's fish gelatin is a neutral, like neutral flavor, so there is no flavor. I all Same I thing. smell is yeah. toasty vanilla. <laughs> now we add the butter, and I should just whisk the butter in. Yes. And this this one is not like smooth yet, like perfectly smooth yet. Yes. So I will finish by the hand blend, hand blender. And the sweetness comes basically just from honey, no sugar. No sugar. Excellent. Yeah, no sugar. Nice base. Sushangwa. Yes, now we very excited to learn how to make this. And there is a water. We add the cinnamon stick, cane sugar, Sh ginger, ginger, brown sugar, and then honey. And honey, amazing. Uh, so we need to boil, uh, make it boil, and then after that we need to kind of reduce around about like 30 minutes. Okay. At least 30 so bring minutes. Bring to a simmer, turn down. Yeah. Bring to a boil, turn mm -hmm. down to a simmer. So it almost feels like um, like it has that idea of warm baking spices with the ginger and yes, the cinnamon. Yes, exactly. Right? Yeah. Not too sweet. Mm -hmm. It's kind of refreshing flavor. Should I start peeling the pear, Chef? Yes. <laughs> time to respect the fruit, right? Yes, time to respect fruits. <laughs> chef, do you have any sort of top five favorite fruits? Oh. <laughs> oh, do you look. have? I do. Okay, top say? five. Off the top of my head, put me under pressure. Uh, <laughs> top five favorite fruits. I love passion fruit. Uh, five. Four, okay. Three, I love persimmon. I love oh, persimmon. Fuez du love bois. Persimmon? Yes. Oh. I love. Oh my so gosh, good. right? So it's the most delicious. Yeah. I am going to table the rest. <laughs> I have two more and I'm going to come up with them in a moment. <laughs> and Pumi's pear, I want to make a shape like a supreme of yes. citrus. Yes. Same style as citrus, where you'd go in and kind of cut through the pith. Yeah, because Komi's pear is soft too, like softer than Asian pear. So when you make the bowl, like it could be hard to make a nice shape. Yes. So that's why I, I decide this uh, shape. Then we, we can soak into the yuzu syrup. In the yuzu syrup, what's here? Just yuzu juice? There's and... a yuzu juice and water and yuzu uh, uh, jam. So uh, now we can make the hair compote with the scraps. So the left of scraps oh, are... Chef, you're so sustainable. You So we have cut all of the suprems mm -hmm. out of the pear and instead of getting rid of that, we actually cut the rest of the fruit off and like. create something with the fruit. Yes. Beautiful. No, no, no. We respect no the fruit. Waste. <laughs> no waste. Respect the fruit. Yes. But this one is just very easy and quick. You can just cut it, uh, chop it, the pear, into the pot. Okay. So citric acid, diced pear, just cooking down a little bit, yeah. break down and Evaporate a little bit of the water, concentrate mm. the flavor. Asian pear peel. The texture is completely different. Very crisp. Uh, now we're gonna make the Asian pear bowl. I, I like to use the bowler because you can make a really nice shape and pretty shape. Clean. It looks beautiful. And it's gonna go into a honey syrup? Yes. So we have uh, three different types of color. So this one is li like little light yellow, and this one is like brown, and this one is white. Chef, your mind is beautiful. It's it's awesome to see this production because uh, ultimately you're gonna have three different textures. You have a little bit acid forward, bright. This is kind of like sweet, mm. like on the back of the palate, like right. rich, right? And then you have some beautiful sort of like crisp, fresh pear, and you have the pear compote, and then you have the honey, playing with the honey pastry cream. <laughs> it's just next level, man. Oh. <laughs>
fail. Okay, I'm not gonna do that in the next one. I, can't, I clearly can't do it. <laughs>These are the type of desserts I really enjoy eating. It's very unintrusive on your palate. You know, it, it's really going to round out your your savory experience and kind of hug your soul a little mm. bit. Wow, we did it, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. <laughs>